you celebrating? With the sausage McMuffin? You, know, you gotta have coffee. some coffee and a McMuffin. That's how you get the day started. And you already woke and baked? You yeah. know? That's Rocco, man. <laughs> oh, he's, where is Rocco? He's taking a nap, see? He's not even here. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Here we go. That's how you do it. You want the records? You got to come early. You've been doing this forever. You've been here since 1 a.m. Pretty much. Yeah. I just yeah. got here. It's still early. It was a lot darker when I when I drove here. I did record footage of me driving, so I okay. showed how dark it so was. Dark. Like, okay, so you know, I got up early for this, too. So hoping, uh, you know, we get some limited uh, vinyl and keep physical media alive. You know? Completely. And the way it works out is beautiful. Been doing this for many, many years. Luz is right there. And right behind me is a place called Panikin. So you come early in the morning. They open up 6 a.m. Good point to get your coffee, get your breakfast break, get your food. Yeah, they probably do really well, too, I'm sure. I'm sure they love that, you know. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I've been looking at all those customers. They're, they're hungry. They're, you know, they got to use the restroom, like you said. And like, hey, why are you in? Get some coffee, get some neat. That's cool. So other people out at the other record stores, yeah, they're sitting there crossing their legs and trying, you know. Yeah, because <laughs> there's no real bathroom. My buddy's, uh, my buddy's in Vegas right now. He said the line is major right now. He's in line as well oh, too. In so Vegas? yeah, no Zia way. Records. Yeah, so. Wow. Oh, Zia. And, yeah. yeah, Zia. Yeah, Zia's I, different. It yeah. has its own pressings, even. It has yeah. its own exclusives. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen. I've seen a lot of people online already posting that they're in line or getting mm -hmm. ready, and and uh, it's not a Black Friday one. This actual RSD, this record store. Day, yes. Which is Definitely really cool. Third week of uh, April. Yeah, always so. on my around my son's birthday. It sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get him a gift, and then I'm trying to get stuff. <laughs> <laughs> not responsible at all. <laughs> Don't listen to me when COVID I do what we threw do. Threw it off. It was weird. They That's broke right. It, up into it three did. Segments. Yeah, that was weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ba it's back yeah. to normal now. Yes. Yes. So this is standard April record store day. Two then hours of sleep. Black Friday record store day in oh, November. That's another one. So yeah. that popped so. up a couple years ago. So let's see what we get. We'll show you our haul afterwards, and Ooh. hopefully we get what we want. And uh, Taylor Swift, man, right here, all the way. You know, I've been waiting <laughs> forever, man. <laughs> Like when you watch the video, you're wearing a different shirt right now. Shirt in Where is it? I gotta go get it. You it's gotta go car. get your shirt. Is it in your I car? I don't wanna get it wrinkled. All right. Is that nope. what it is? Oh, but yeah. you're gonna miss the number. You're gonna, when you change shirts. The uh, number's gonna be on there. Plus, your nipples are poking through that. Woo! Kids are watching. Put that yeah. away. Yeah. And this is Record Store Day. My nice shirt. Vinyl Junkie, baby. Record Store Day. There we yeah. go. A crack addict. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back from uh, record store day. Woo. Well, <sighs> I'm done. You're st you're still going apparently, so you're yeah. crazy. Still got so, a few more stores to go to. Yeah. So, but for right now, this is the hall portion because I uh, you got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. Well, it, and, it, uh, it's like that old thing, you know. Uh, where <laughs> where do you find something in the last place you looked? Yeah. So, uh, well, did, did you find what you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, in the last place I looked, but I'm still looking. Yeah. So I'm yeah I got all most of the records I wanted, but I'm still looking. You're still looking. Yeah, still but looking. But you got something else here. This this is pretty neat for the, record store day. Yes, exclusives. Um, there, there is uh, an interesting addition. A lot of record store days produce these little tiny turntables. Started off in Japan, they became novelties. People use them, so they've been coming out from Crosley. I don't know how many years now. Yeah. But they've had the standard ones, then they had a clear turntable, see-through, which I love that piece because mm -hmm. you can see all the mechanics of it. So I saw a posting for. Guess what? The Beatles, the Beatles. one. Look at that. And wow. what's, what size is it? What, are this, what does it play? So, it, Fonzo might identify with this. It, they're three inches. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they include, yep, yeah, right there, the three little three inches from the Beatles. 
three songs. I saw her standing there. She loves you. I want to hold your hand. Oh, till there was four. you. There's four. Four. Oh, you thought there was three. Interesting. Well, the I separated out at Lose Records. Yes. Which we'd love to go to. Yes. Give a shout out, Lou's Records and Sanitas. Give some love. Thank you, Lou and the crew. Mm -hmm. uh, there was only three. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I Well, on the posting, if, if that's correct, yeah, I believe there was four, but it's included with. Very limited. Uniquely, with this, I hadn't seen this before on a Crosley 3-inch, Bluetooth. Yeah, that's cool. That I that's hadn't seen cute. before. So yeah. it justifies some of the cost behind this. Right. Plus, it has a cool little carrying case. But check his eBay. It's going to be on his eBay in like no time <laughs> anyway, so don't worry about it. He's going to flip You see that price? He's going to put it for $300 more. So. There, there we go. go. See that price? Oh, I'll, wait put, I'll put the eBay link right here on the bottom. So, <laughs> don't even worry. He ain't even going to have it. I'll go to his house next time. He won't even be there. That is just a wild What about the other piece. stuff you're going to put on eBay? I mean, the ones that you bought. What else you got? What? This is all my stuff. Oh, is that? Let's see. Yeah, this is oh, my favorite. Who is this? Olivia Rodrigo. Who Come is on, that? That's my favorite. Name three songs Look, of hers. Look, it's got autographs. See, we collect autographs. Name so, three dude, songs of hers. Dude, autographs. It's got autos. So Yeah, her name's... Um, your, name's your name's eBay? Uh, Rodrigo... You don't even know. Like, you don't even know, man. Put that away. Uh, spicy, lacy, uh, whatever. What yeah. else you got? What? What else you got? I got a few more. Yeah, let's see. So, been a fan. Love, love, love since I was little. Song from Golden Earring called Twilight Zone. A lot of you know, dun, 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 cool bass riff that goes in there. Yeah. And it's, man, it's one you do not play while you're driving on the freeway. Because okay. you just want to, nice. it's like you and Metallica. Coming back, coming back from L.A. Yeah. So we play right here. So, what is saw, this? and they had Golden Earring, the cut sessions. So, these are portions of not only Twilight Zone, but a few other songs, early mixes. Like Charging Up My Batteries, King Dark, Jazz, Shadow Avenue. But, yeah. What genre is that? What would you... Uh, pop rock, maybe? Okay. I mean, it's an interesting mix. Yeah. But this is from Music on Vinyl. Yeah. Individual, limited edition, 1,500 individually numbered. This is 138, baby. Boom. 138. Pace so this get is in low line. down Pace in the chain. to get in line early. How early? It does. <laughs> <laughs> to the back. Early. Yeah. He's winding down. Early. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll tell a little story of that uh -huh. when we're finished here. I got a soundtrack, too, it looks like there. Yeah, you know, a lot of us go and we meet these composers and we collect these scores and yeah, soundtracks absolutely. and all that. Fortunately, he's no longer with us. Uh, sadly, yeah, yeah, Ennio Morricone. But they keep producing every record store Morgan. day a number of his. A lot of them are foreign releases, UK record store days. Yeah, so this However, is Verez, but it also has something on top here, like Cinema Club or something up here. Yeah, yeah this is interesting. About. Real Cult. They're the ones uh, that released it? Based on, oh, pressed on blood in the water, colored vinyl. So, yeah. Oh, Daniel Schweiger did the liner notes. That's cool. Hey, so how did you ask for that one when you... <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yeah, can hey, I get that one, the orca? You know, can I then, get an orca? It's the killer's like, whale. She's like, orca? Huh? And she looks at me, what, orca? She <laughs> <laughs> starts <laughs> making noises. Like and she goes, whale, oh, like orca. orca. <laughs> Let me get that for you right away. She immediately knew what it was. <laughs> That was hilarious. That was true. That, that was, was true. Funny. Speaking of hilarious, oh, which we'll never play movies hilarious. like this anymore. Oh, airplane. Airplane. Oh my God, classic. We had an opportunity to see this at the Egyptian That's right, Theater. That. That's right. And met the Zucker brothers, two of the three who wrote Airplane. Nice. And years ago, it was Monster Palooza. Yeah. Met the man himself, Robert Hayes. Nice. It was so awesome because it had the laser cool. disc. Yeah. Brought it up to him, and he goes, You know what? My kid says, it doesn't count if you don't sign the label. So he signed the front of the Laserdisc, but inside the Laserdisc has a label yes. like an album. Really? And he signed, signed the, the label. label. Interesting. So he, it doesn't he, count if it doesn't. I've never heard of that before. Never heard of that. Okay. That was awesome, though. He was such, such, yeah. such a cool dude. A classic movie, though. Definitely. So oh, the score. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, yeah, and oh, it's, yeah. it's crazy as being uh, from 1984 publishing. And it's now uh, coming out. It hasn't this. never been out. Uh, this one has not. Uh, there's two of them out there. The only one I've been able to find, there's no stopping in the red zone. There's no stopping in the white zone. Okay. So this is the red colored vinyl, no stopping in the red gotcha. zone. So now you got to get the white one. Now. Exactly. So you got to complete the collection. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
But awesomely. Yes. Look at this. Ha the original pressing of this goes for a tremendous amount of money. Mm -hmm. Then there was bootlegs and knockoffs and all this other crazy but stuff. A, there was another out. Record Store Day version of this, too, that came out. There was a single LP. Yeah. And so this one. The double LP. Just hit the deluxe. Lost translation. Deluxe. With the sweet Japanese Obi strip. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is very cool. I mean, just. Scarlett Johansson's butt. Yeah, yeah. Covered. Yeah, you know, hey, about Bill just Murray. For that right there. Yeah. Oh, man. And, and some. some Previous unreleased tracks and some scores. Uh, tracks by soundtrack Kevin, and score. Yes, so Air, Jesus and Mary Chain, Peaches, Chemical Brothers. Yeah. So yes, you get and Brian Wrightzell's mm -hmm. score. Yeah. That's so it's really a cool. good mix. Yes. I you know I was so happy to find out. Oh, I didn't know you grabbed that one, dude. This we only had like two oh, left. Oh wow. Now. Yeah. Oh, you know, let's see here. This, so, so the South Park one. Not sure how many were released. I'd have South to look Park it 25th up. Twenty fifth anniversary Industry concert. Yes. And this was, yeah, three LP set of the live performances. I don't know if you've seen it online. Dude, that's crazy. Or watch this, but, but look at all the songs in the awesome. back, man. So, they're, they're, so they did a live concert of all the music yes. from the show. No from, way. From South Park. When I was on top of you, Tommy, <laughs> the cat, I what would Brian fish. Boitano do? <laughs> Brian Boitano? Oh, my gosh. That is insane. Oh, it's easy, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, and it's What's a, it pressed on? Oh, so far. Ooh, looks uh, limited numbered edition vinyl yeah. on the Towley blue Towley. wax Towley. Yeah, looks and you know pretty. what? He's celebrating 420. I'm Towley. Look at him. Towley. Look at his eyes. You know he's celebrating 420. So what's the next one coming out, Mr. Hanky? Yes, vinyl? maybe. Whoa. Colored vinyl. Scratch, Scratch and sniff. How <laughs> 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 oh, do you plan? That was awesome. <laughs> that was good. Boom. Sapatico. We were 10.38. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's a good pressing number. That's it. So ultimately speaking, Very you cool. see a theme going on here. Music, but yeah, so a lot of scores. Soundtracks, yeah. This was awesome. But sticking with the soundtrack speaking theme. Speaking of soundtracks. Look at this I guy. Want, I wanted to get a soundtrack, and uh, it came out. And this was in the 90s when uh, they were doing a bunch of different, a lot of soundtracks were huge in the 90s. But this one, they were mixing bands with electronic bands. Ooh, so I got the Spawn soundtrack. Yeah. Record Store Day exclusive right here. And you had bands like Filter teamed up with Crystal Method, Marilyn Manson, the Sneaker Pimps, Korn and the Dust Brothers, and Scott's favorite, the Butthole Surfers. Wow. The metal, see, metal meets Electronica, Time Capsule sounds from 97 on Red Smoke Vinyl. Korn, Prodigy, Metallica, look at that. And it's one of those, you know, how many were at the at the record store? There was only two. Mm. And I got number two. Yeah. And then we went to the Spins, they didn't have any. No. One guy was asking while we were in line. So luckily, I'm super happy I grabbed this. This is a fun, this is an awesome soundtrack. Like I said, they don't do this anymore, man, where they mix up bands. Henry Rollins and Goldie. Right. Incubus, DJ Greyboy. I mean, come on. Like, this is Prodigy and Tom Morello. R Rage Against the Machine and Prodigy. Come on. This so. is, yeah, it's an ultimate school, uh, soundtrack yeah. so I can to get, the film. I, you can get anyone to sign it, anyone that worked on it, you know? Right. You just, just, boom. Check that out. Another one I was super excited to get. Oh. Anything anything Daft Punk I would get. I was super excited they had this. It's only two tracks, Something About Us, and uh, Love Theme from Interstellar 555 from one of their albums right here. But a very cool cover, anime cover. It's only two tracks, but I wanted to get it. I love that cover. Look at it. It's Daft Punk. Come back, please. Come back. You can hit replay. Tour, come you back. Can, you can just put I'll, it on. I'm like, flip over it over and over, over again. again. And just listen but to come back to us. Come back to us. But look at that. I love that cover. Isn't that awesome? That is pretty Very cool. That's a pretty cover. And my number one that I really, really wanted, and it's finally on vinyl. Oh. Yes, yes. Limited edition gold vinyl with a Oh, Linda Ronstadt. Litho. What? Oh. Linda That's not that. The one you always wanted? No. You were going to say oh. Taylor Swift. I'm surprised you didn't oh. say that. Remastered 2005 album, two OPs, first time on vinyl with two unreleased bonus tracks. Look at that. And uh, it is. Team Sleep right oh. there. They didn't. I didn't see if they had a mini. They there was like an, another another box. So. You sure it's not Enya? I got it. It's not Enya. It could mm. be. Yeah, I mean, it's very smooth like that. You can definitely right. get down to it. So this Chino Moreno side project from the Deftones. Ooh. Anything, anything Chino, anything Deftones, I'm all over it. I got palms. I got crosses. I got all those other side projects. So when this was announced, I'm like, this one I am definitely picking up as my number one. So when they had it, I I was so happy. Look at that, Mike Patton too from Faith No More. Mm. Love that. And then they got Mary, Mary Timoney. Not sure about that. These, I don't know about these two tracks right here, but, um, but ever, ever foreign flag is like, oh, it's such a oh, dreamy shoegazy. Uh, I love this album. So super happy it came out. Two thousand five. Team Sleep. Super happy that I got them. Wow. And and Good while we were collection. at Spins, I wanted I picked up oh. Fiona Apple's title because this was only exclusive at some I forget what website it was. You had to be a member. Oh. It was the only way you can get it. But I guess now you can. So. 
this track. And this is it, not a record store. This is not release. a record store exclusive. I just wanted to pick it up and show it off because I love this album. This is such a great, great album. Ooh. In the seam splits. I was checking to see. Double LP. Because that's one thing you want to do. Like it's fine. Yeah, spine looks beautiful. Right there. Look yeah. at the top. Look at the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our haul for Record Store Day 2024. April 420. 420. Don't come, whatever you got to do to celebrate. We celebrated. So one thing, yes. Depends on where you're going. Right. There are a number of record stores out there. Yes. Support, your, Support local your local record shops. stores. Yes, that's very important. Th that's how this all that. began. Yes. Some of the limited releases are a couple of hundred to a couple thousand. It's morphed and changed over the years. Yeah. Still, follow along and yes, yeah. find out your local record stores because yes. that's who benefits the most from these. Absolutely. Lose has been, I believe, 35 plus years. Yeah. In uh, Encinitas, California. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, again, a number of the record stores will have certain methods or ways of doing it. Like just have a line and you come through and you sort and you pull or whatever, usually one per person. Mm -hmm. Lewis gives you a number, he'll, you know, you go, you take a break, and right. you have it in an orderly fashion. Mm -hmm. Love that fact. Right. But of course, now, time goes, yeah, first year I was there 3 a.m.? Yeah. No, first year I was there 6 a.m., yeah. they open at 9, give you the tickets, 10, stales begin. Yeah. Year then, earlier, earlier, earlier. Yes. So, and there was a long line this year, too, apparently. You kept saying how much longer it was. So, so live about 20 minutes away, woke up, and went over there at one, a little after 1 a.m. Yeah. And we were still 22, 20, 23, 23, 24. 24. Yeah, insane. Yeah. I know. And the really cool thing I was noticing, too, a lot of, like, young people, a lot of older people, mm -hmm. the mixed families, yeah. you know, couples, like, just all different ages. I mean, it was so cool to see, you know, and, like, supporting physical media. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what I love, you know. It's so convenient to listen to things on digital, on your Spotify, on your, you know, on your phones and everything, but I don't know, something about having physical mm -hmm. copies and the, when the internet goes down, you can still listen to your music. You can still pull it in, you know, right. drop the needle and, and, and have a good time. So. Yeah, those digital copies go away, this copy don't go away. Exactly. But then Fonzo's walking up and talking to people, so what kind of turntable you got? And they go, what's that? I didn't say that, you said that. No, he said that to me. No, no, yeah. no. They're standing there with a record in their I got me, yeah, I got me a Crossley, got me a Beatles Crossley, yeah, that's what I got. So, but if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, <laughs> subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Tell us what you guys picked up. Tell us what uh, mm. that uh, you know, which ones you guys were excited for. And like I said, he's still going out and getting some more. So, there's a couple of stores in San Diego that may have the UK because right. there's different ones right. you'll find online. Yes. Record store US, record store Keep the UK. An eye out. Yeah. So, and some there's overstock are... afterwards, right? The ones that didn't sell, go yeah. you know, check next time. Check the website. Mm -hmm. Some of them unfortunately do go up if they put them on their eBay. I don't know what and he's doing. They, they go a little more. But yeah. But if you guys like this video, you like Record Store Day and you guys support it, awesome. Hit Spread the like, the word. subscribe, comment, go to support your local shops, man, for yes, sure. Yes, definitely. And enjoy Record Store Day. It's normally April. Yes. It's back to normal after COVID. Yes. And keep an eye out for Record Store Day Black Friday in November for more opportunities, more vinyl being released. That's it. Not vinyls. That's right. Vinyl. 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 Records. <laughs> LPs. Yeah. And as always, guys, you already know. Hey, it, 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 well, it's it San Diego. It's San Diego, sunny. though. It has been freaking it raining been all rainy. the time. It has, I know. <laughs> but not today. Not, not today. It can't rain today. Boom. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>